Hey you guys, it's me, Gemstone. This reading is for Aquarius and I'm going to be using the Tarot of the Divine. This is such a beautiful deck. It's a really lovely multicultural deck and um, I'm going to be pairing it with... If I can find the top part of the box, the Legendary Ladies Goddess deck. The artwork from both decks, I feel like they go together really nicely and the messages that come from this deck are like so beautiful and... They're so uplifting and it's just a deck that I, since I bought it, I just really enjoy it. So I just said I'll add that to your reading and I'll read uh, from the little book so that you get a bit of information about the goddess uh, that shows up for you. And then if you uh, already work with goddesses, um, it might, you know, inspire you to work with the goddess that shows up, like if you wanted to find more information out about her um as like a result of this reading as well so you're free to do that also so let's see what shows up for Aquarius oh the ace of wands is showing up a lot so there's a lot of messages coming through for people and you got the king of coins and then you have strength coming through so okay some People may be going through some money issues at this time, or you may have to budget um, a bit more because um, of things that's going on financially. You may get a message that comes through um, year about something that you've been trying to grow, you know, especially with this tree on top of the turtle. Well, the turtle, you know, moves so slow, slow, slow. And obviously trees grow really slow as well. So it's like everything, what you're going through is a work in progress. Now, the thing is about that is a lot of the time we want things to go fast. We don't like things to be really slow. But it kind of shows that this is something that you've invested in. Um, the good thing about it is when the results come through, they can be, it can be really positive. But the um process of <laughs> it coming to fruition is one that takes a lot of time so the strength card is kind of showing that you may have other things or other issues that you need to work out and battle through at this time when it comes to this investment this thing that you've been working on all this time so you may have to be putting more into it to keep it going to keep it flourishing and so that might present a bit of a challenge but because, as you can see, uh, she's wrestling this crocodile that looks like he's trying to attack like her and the lion. So it shows that you're up for the challenge. You're not running away with this kind of fiery energy from the Ace of Wands and the Strength card. It's almost like you're you're prepared to fight and you're prepared to do what it takes in order to to make this thing be successful and for and to see it all the way through so i feel like your determination is going to keep things at least on a steady pace to where it can grow and it can one day really uh you know show the fruits um of your labor uh, let's see something else that may be coming through with this the king of coins can be a person as well and so um this could be an air sign person um if it is it could be some challenges you're, you've had with an air sign not air sign not an air sign an earth sign person um earth sign basically being a capricorn taurus or a virgo If it should, for some people, it will show up as a, an individual. So if it shows up as a person, then this person is, is, they're coming to you right now at this time. And they're coming to you with a message that is going to bring challenge to you. Um, so if this was a person that you were in a relationship with, then this person is you and this person like you haven't really got on well <laughs> uh, maybe there was a time you got on well but then there's been issues uh, between the two of you where you know you've had disagreements and things that have gone on and so um if you wanted to remain with this person or get back with this person or to you know reach a better um that like to improve the relationship from what it is it would definitely take a lot of compromise to be able to work alongside with 
you work alongside this person um because you the, the strength card always represents to people that are very different like i feel like when it shows of uh, when it sort of uh, shows up in reference to uh, a relationship of some kind is is basically saying that yes you can be friends with this individual yes you can be in relationship with this individual but it's going to come with the work so therefore, it's, there's going to need to be a compromise. There's going to be the need. There's going to need to be a level of understanding that the both of you have, and and also the the willingness to work together through whatever issues you're dealing with right now. So um, you know, but that's just like many relationships. You know, <laughs> you know, a lot of the time, relationships, whether they're friendships or romantic, it, it does come with work. So. You know, that's not a terrible thing, but it, it just depends on, I guess, how it's handled as well. I'm really drawn to the colors in this card. Like the cards are, you get a lot of red and a lot of green. Red can kind of speak of um, your stability, what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel secure, kind of connected to the root chakra that is sort of, that grounds us. So... But then there's also um, the green represents more the heart chakra, which is more obviously our feelings, our emotions, you know, whether this is a love situation. There could have been a time where there was passion. There was if there was definitely good times here that was shared with this individual. For some of you, this could be someone that you go way back with. So you have quite a history with this individual and the history may have been turbulent at times. So there may have been uh, times where, you know, you guys didn't get on so well and you, you've had to, and maybe you've stayed in contact with this person, but there's always been certain things that have showed up here and there where there's been issues. So I feel like now your cards are kind of saying, this is a good time to try to work things out. Um, and, and work them through, have conversations about whatever is going on that um, needs to be addressed so, you know, you can work through those things. So let's see what Goddess card shows up for you, Aquarius. Okay. Your Goddess card is... morality Allah okay such a beautiful card oh, I love these cards so much so let's see what her card says for morality I can get the page <laughs> it says queen goddess of morality fertility death and cycles Allah is here to push you to align with your integrity if you're in the right, she will help you find justice. If you've, if you've walked the line, she's here as a reminder to do what is right, even if it's not easy. So, yeah, <laughs> the strength represents that, doing what's right, even though it's not easy. So, again, I feel like it's so much connected with the relationship you have with this coins person right here. So... Yeah, let me kind of um, morality, fertility, death, and cycles. I'm really drawn to this thing of integrity, you know. I mean, when it comes to our integrity, you know, it kind of could be saying that maybe you haven't always been maybe forthcoming with this person that we're seeing here, this king of coins person. So, I'm all thing morality connecting to our morals and our values, you know, is this person against your values? Are they against, are they against things that you believe in? You know, um, have you always felt that you could be yourself and that you could express yourself how you, you know, wanted to? Is is that where the conflicts and things have been coming from? You know, 
or you might feel like every time you kind of stand up for yourself or you voice an opinion or something like that maybe this person you know takes issue with it and that's where a lot of the conflict and stuff is coming from so you know and and again because i can see this heart centered thing it's basically this person feels like there's somebody that you know again there is some kind of emotional connection you have with this person so maybe this person is a family member or maybe this person is somebody who's in a romantic partnership with or a friend like that kind of thing but uh, and this person could be quite stubborn because the king of coins you know usually is a, a stubborn individual they can be smart as well maybe maybe that's another issue as well that person this person might be a bit of a know-it-all and they think oh that will you know what they think is right and all that other stuff and they're not really open to listen to other opinions and things like that and you might be trying to bring them on to sort of other ideas that maybe they're not willing to um accept or listen to because they're just stuck in their sort of old and what you might think is you know outmoded way of doing things they might still hold very true to so you know because they see the value so <laughs> they see the value in their in their life experiences and and um, again, things that they've come to learn, uh, but sometimes they may not be so open to listening to other kind of ideas. So um, it could be all that kind of thing that is going on here as well. So yeah, it's, you know, a bit of stuff to work out there. So peace and many blessings to you, Aquarius. I'll be seeing you. Bye.